everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 5 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I want to get my create-based kelp farm up and running. Now, what I decided to do, uh, and I came up with this plan between episodes a bit, is I would like to um, have a separate water wheel dedicated to the create kelp farm. Uh, that's the basic plan. So I'd like to build this a little bit underground, um, and I'm, my plan is to do something like... So, like, if this is going to be where my main power production is, we could put the, the kelp maker maybe, like, over here-ish. And I'm thinking we're going to expand out in this general area. I, I haven't figured entirely out what we're going to do. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Maybe back here is where we could do it. That might not be a bad idea. We'll figure it out. You know Dyer. He gets there in the end. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we could create, like, maybe just a little bit underground here-ish. I might want you on precision mode for a minute. But I'm thinking we could have the create farm uh, making the kelp right down here, right? That might not be a bad spot. That works, right? Um, and then we could have a little bit more of that happening. That looks cool. Uh, and then we can plant our kelp right in there. And then we'll have, um, let's see, I've got a little bit of kelp to plant here. So there's a nice three by three area, right? So that'll be nine kelp. And if we wanted to expand this, we absolutely could, right? But that's not a bad start. We could easily expand it either, if we expanded it vertically, right, like away from the piston arm, we would just need more piston arms. Uh, if we wanted to expand it horizontally, we would add uh, a few harvesters. No big deal. Look, it's already growing. It's already working. It's pretty quick. Kelp grows fast, doesn't it? So that's why I'm thinking like a smallish one should be plenty. Uh, and then I thought it would be cool to have like some glass sitting on top so we could actually, you know, see it a little bit. Doesn't that sound like a cool plan? Something like this. Now, what other forms of glass do we have? Do we have like something that could be like connected -y textures? Connecting glass from the connected glass mod. Oh, let's try that out. What's this button do? Oh, neat. Okay. Ooh, that looks fancy, right? I like that. How cool does that look? And then we can kind of see the whole thing under there, right? I like that. I like that. Now, you guys are obviously going to be all kinds of uh, a difficult-ish problem, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. I would like... Now, do these things have a front and back side to them? You wouldn't think so. Okay. And then some of these dudes. I'm basically going to rebuild the, the proof of concept design that I came up with last episode for this. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have some super glue. And we're going to have a chest. And we're going to have a sticky piston. And we're going to have a piston pull extender. Cool. And then we also want to have a dedicated water wheel for this thing, is the plan. Uh, so rather than tapping into this guy, I want to have this guy be used for some of my other contraptions until I get uh, a windmill, which will, which will probably replace this guy. Um, so until that happens, I'm going to wind up um, just using that for like a couple other create based things. So instead, what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to have um, an underground version of that. That's kind of my plan. Cool. That should be neat. Cool. All right, so you can do one, two, three there. 
Yeah, precision mode is definitely what's up. Cool. Now, if I were to make sure that we have some water handy. Yeah, I don't want you flowing in that direction, buddy. <laughs> Good. 256-ish. Ah, oh, see, I was hoping that you guys wouldn't do that. As long as you're 256, then I'm good. And I'm debating whether I want to have glass on top of this guy just to make it look a little bit cool. I really like that connecting glass stuff. Can we use this to turn back into normal glass? No, it's just or dictionary with glass. Ooh, clear glass. That's cool. Talk to me. Talk to me about clear glass. Ooh, I like that a lot. That is cool. Now, is this the kind of glass that'll like... No, it just totally shatters. That's okay. It's just sand. And check it out. There's a big old desert behind me. So, we're fine. We're all fine with, with deserty things. All right, that should work, right? And then you can connect with shafts and gearboxes, um, probably, probably. So what I think I'd like to do is make sure that you're gonna be nice and good-natured about your speed, yeah? Yeah, I like that plan. So let's consider you. And then you. Eh, I need more gearboxes is probably what I need. That is probably accurate. That is probably accurate. So I just need some wood. And that's cool. Can I get a few more of these while I'm here? Perfect. Does that work? Nice. Okay, cool. And then this guy. Can have the gear shift. Who when he receives a redstone signal. Okay, not bad. So I might wanna, there's a thing I'm gonna wanna change here. I know for sure. Um, let's be prepared for that. Let's get some more water. Um, there's a setting change we wanna make on the piston so that he doesn't overwrite my water. it so i think there's a setting change we want to make on our piston here movement mode 
Always place when stopped. Place only in starting position. Place only when anchor destroyed. I want only in starting position. So what that means is, so when the, as a reminder, in case you guys, you know, didn't see this last time I used it or something, what happens is when the blocks are moving, they're not blocks, they're entities, okay? So it's like, it's like a mob, basically. It works like an entity. And entities have all kinds of rules in Minecraft about what they can be. Um, so if it turns into a block, it overwrites the water right um we don't want it to turn into a block when it gets when it stops which is what happens when it reaches the end here we want it to uh turn into a block only when it's back at its starting position so remember last time i flipped the lever it removed the water at the end so watch what happens now does not remove the water at the end and no block breaking noise how cool is that huh pretty spiffy now, if I'm correct, this should be cool. Nice. Though I'm not sure why you chose to move the blocks there. Actually, I'm not sure why you moved. You shouldn't, because even though that's sticky, that's not. So that shouldn't be moving. It's moving like, oh, I know why. I know why. It's because this thing is in eight mode. Aha, yes, that makes sense. Okay. So if I put you in one mode... Ta-da! That's pretty cool. Okay. That works for me, right? And then and then we're getting kelp from this process, which is neat. Which is neat. I like it. Okay. So that's step one. There is more to come. All right, real quick, just setting up my mechanical press. And again, this is pretty much what I'm planning to use um this water wheel for is just a couple i need to craft something with create uh processes and what i'd like to make now is an encased fan which should be doable-ish sweet that looks cool all right you go away for a minute anything else i can put away uh for now i'm just gonna put my gold away that should be good so encased fans uh if we ponder these we'll note that they can blow entities around Okay, so it can push mobs, it can push things, and if you reverse the the flow of air uh, with like a, one of these dudes, it'll pull them in, right? But there's another scene that we can check out here. If you put lava in front of it, it'll smelt items, okay? So you can use it to smelt ore into gold, for example, as it's shown here. Uh, you can also put fire in front of it, if you want, to, uh, to kind of cook things and the fire is used for cooking food or anything that would happen in a smoker including turning kelp into dried kelp because remember the main purpose of this is we want to get dried kelp right so we want this thing to run every now and then boop and we're going to make this run a little bit better uh in, in a bit and then the other thing we want to do is take the kelp that we're getting turn it into dried kelp so that we can craft it into belts Cool. So that's the plan. Uh, so to do that, we're going to need to extract items from that thing. So we're going to want um, a belt, and we're also going to want an andesite funnel, I think. Yeah, funnels versus tunnels. Funnels is, I'm pretty sure, what we want. Um, and we can ponder this if we want, but you can see that's what they do. They're pretty cool. Right? Looks neat. So let's set that up. Uh, so we're gonna want an andesite funnel, uh, which needs a couple dried kelp, which I think I should have some in here. I'm gonna make two of these guys. I uh, well, two sets, so four. Um, we're gonna want the belt. So we're gonna want you to you with a belt between them. And then we're going to want the andesite funnel like that. And then we're going to want another chest, I think. I'm trying to keep my inventory clear. Doing a bad job, but I'm trying. Um, Like that. Seem cool? 
Okay. Uh, and then to make this work, what I'm going to need to do is figure out a way to connect this gear shift. So what we could probably do is we could turn two of these guys into vertical gearboxes. There and there. And then we can put another shaft in here and connect these up. And look at that. How cool is that? I love it. It's working for the most part, right? Now, step two of this process will be to get the encased fan in here. So what we're going to want is the encased fan in front of fire. Now, did I bring any netherrack back from the nether with me? That's something I don't remember. I feel like I didn't. Did I bring any netherrack back? I remember grabbing a few things. We're going to find out. If not, I'm going to make a quick trip. All right, good. Yes, I do have netherrack. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to put some dirt away because I have too much of that. And uh, probably put away the connecting glass. I might just void that. We'll see. Because I really like that clear glass stuff. That clear glass is awesome. What other options are there? Just curious. Oh, look at that. Cool. So you've got clear glass and you've got connecting glass and lots of other variants. Scratched, scratched white. So different colors and whatnot. Neat. Okay, cool. Uh, so what I want to do is get that and my flint and steel so we can start a fire. Haha. -ha. And then get the encased fan going. In before all the dire contraptions are a mess. But essentially what we want, what I was thinking I want at least, is look at you being all clever. We're gonna want another rack here with some flames. I think that's what we're gonna want. And then we're gonna want a fan blowing into it, ish. Or is that encased fan that I made? That I know I made. There he is. Cool. Now the connection for the encased fan goes where? Is it on the back? I think so. Yeah, so that's facing the wrong way. Cool. So you're going to have to run your shafts. Man, everything is just the wrong place, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. I'm going to need a lot of gearboxes to fix that. I might, I might make this more efficient, but I'm semi-proof of concepting this at the moment. Semi-proof of concepting this at the moment. So I'm thinking you should be a vertical gearbox, maybe. So yeah, let's get two of those. I'm going to trash you real quick. Right? And then here, and then here. That works, right? And then we flint and steal this bad boy. And then if I were to put a kelp in there, are you moving fast enough that you'll smelt it? Probably not. You're, or you're moving too fast. Ow, yes. Don't stand in front of the hot fire. Hot fire, bad. So we're going to want to slow this guy down. So if I do this, that should be good. Uh, there is, from create, is it a clutch? Is that what I'm looking for? Vertical gearbox clutch. That might be what I want. Ponder. Controlling rotational force using a clutch. That just turns it off. All right, that's not what I want. I want to slow it down. I want to. I want to throttle more so. Yeah, 
that's not really what I want either. Isn't there like just something that can slow it down a little bit? So another option is I just reversed these guys so the whole contraption is slower. And let's see how this works out. Is that going to be slow enough to process what I want to process? It might be. Is it still not slow enough? Goodness gracious. It needs to be slower. Either that or I should maybe consider moving this a little bit further away. I don't know. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make. Fire bad. I thought that might be fa that might be slow enough, but maybe not. Um, let me just try something here. I'm just gonna try moving this one block further away, right? Just to give myself a little bit more. So here-ish, really. And then you can go here, and then you can go here. And we will belt up to there. And we can have our funnel there. OK? And then we're just going to try this one. Just it's possible that the funnel's picking it up before it finishes smelting. It's possible. Nope. Still too fast. Wah, wah. I can slow this down more. All right, guys, we're back. And I've slowed this thing down even more. Let's see, this has to be slow enough, right? There's no way that this speed is still too fast to process. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to come up with another plan. Come on, come on, come on. It didn't work. Uh, what am I gonna do? All right, I have an idea. So let's, let's do this, you ready? I'm gonna have another smelter here. Okay, so we're going to start up another fire. We're going to get our uh, encased fans cooking. Two encased fans. So that means we're going to have to rearrange the gear shifting a little bit. Uh, just make things a little bit different. So I'm going to need a couple vertical gear boxes and a couple horizontals. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. So let's get this guy cooking and this and this. Cool. And that's going to be one is blowing and the other is sucking. Because remember... Gear shifts reverse the flow of the rotation. So what I'm going to make now instead is encased drive chains. Uh, these guys should make everything flow in the same direction rather than reversing them. So if we replace these dudes with the encased drive chains, inventory problems as usual, dire. Ugh. All right, don't worry, we can solve that. Okay, uh, anything else I can get rid of? Yeah, I might need that. Good enough though. All right, so encased drive chains, encased chain drives, I was close. You know what I was saying. And then this guy can hit with a wrench and he will start blowing which means this guy will also blow. Perfect. Now just light up the fire. And we're good to go. Cool. All right, let's give this a quick test. Try not to light myself on fire and go. Man, that belt moves slow. Isn't it slow? But it's gotta, it's gotta cook it now, right? There's no way it's not gonna. Huzzah! It works. Nice. Now can I get rid of these guys? Make it a little bit faster. So I'm probably going to want to do vertical here. And then horizontal. Well, technically another vertical. Um, and then boop, boop. And is he moving all the right way? He is. Nice. Ow. Stupid fire. Uh, let's do this. And while I smelt this thing, is this 
too fast now? That's the main question. If it's too fast, it's too fast. Okay, so then I'm, what I think I'm gonna do is another fan. Deal? Yeah, another fan. So, here we go. Got another chain drive thingy here, encased drive chain. Nope. Yep. And uh, that's blowing in the right direction. So another rack, flint and steel. Flint and steel, there you are. Cool. And then this should be good enough to make everything work. That's a lot of particle effects though. But I have a plan to make this look nicer. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that's looking good. That's all cool. Beautiful. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to leave those other two gears there. There's nothing I can do to make that any better. But uh, overall, I think this looks good. So let's fill it all in with dirt. And I have a plan to make this look nice, okay? What I'm thinking, I, I already started smelting some cobble. So I think I'm gonna play with chisel a little bit to kind of make this look a little bit nicer. But step one, I'd like to cover everything in dirt slash grass um, so that it's all kind of built into the ground. And we'll see what we can do to make this look a little bit nicer in a moment. Quick nap through the night, just because. Now, do I have any of that clear connecting glass stuff on me? Let's see. First, I want to fill this stuff up again. Anything else I got to fill in? That looks pretty good. All right, I don't see any of that glass. I'm going to go probably smelt some up. Uh, so here, I'm going to play with chisel. And let's make... Which chisel things do we want to get? Encase bricks? Yeah, it sounds good. I like that sound. That looks nice, right? And I'm sure that has a cool connected texture to it. Uh, inventory problems as usual. But let's go start. I've got some clear glass that I made and my encased bricks and whatnot. Let's go over here and try and make this look a little bit nicer. And this isn't going to be the final version of this. I do want to improve it over time. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. You know what? I have too much inventory space. I can't even pick up this dirt. Ugh, killing me. Well, if you think about it, we probably don't need any of our create based stuff anymore right so i can put all this away i'm done with the create contraptions it's all built it's working it's great good perfect so my plan is to to make this look nicer over time we'll get there uh no promises on it being perfect but we'll definitely get there right but i want to for now cover it all up with glass Mostly A, so that I don't keep burning myself, and B, so that you can kind of see the whole thing working, and C, so that it blocks all these particles that are going on here, because the smoke particles are pretty intense, right? So that might help cut that out a little bit. Doesn't that look better? Yeah, yeah, definitely looks better. Gonna need more clear glass here. Cool. So let's use our encased bricks to make this look a little bit nicer. Doesn't this look good? Now this lever is going to go away in a minute, so don't worry about that. But uh, the plan is to use uh, a block that I don't have access to yet. Uh, that will be setting up very shortly. Okay, yeah, what I want to do is, what's it called? The sequenced gear shift, I think it is? Where is that thing? Yeah, that looks good. Sequenced gear shift. Okay. So we don't have access to bronze yet, but we'll be getting that probably next episode is what I'll, I'll work towards getting bronze with Create. Cool. So let's give this guy a little bit of a test to see how he runs, right? We're going to um, set up the sequence gear shift here with a redstone timer. But for now, we should just demonstrate how this is going to look all together. So flip the lever. He's a little slow, but not terrible. Cool and then flip the lever back. And we'll have that run on a timer like every minute or so, something like that. And then as soon as he returns, he's gonna connect up to the andesite tunnel and start emptying out all the, all the stuff that he collected, all the kelp. And then it'll be smelted into dried kelp, you know, or smoked, I guess, if you wanna be accurate about it. Cool? And it lines up, it works pretty perfectly to be fair. I think it looks good too, doesn't it look cool? 
It's pretty awesome in my opinion. I like it a lot. Look at that stuff go. Create is just such an awesome and beautiful mod. It's fun to watch. It's fun to build. It, you know, requires a little bit of planning and thought, which I usually fail at that part. But still, it's 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 an awesome mod. It really is. So that looks pretty good. And then, like I said, this will all be automated with the sequence gear shift and probably a redstone timer of some kind to make that move automatically. Uh, but we're going to have to set that up next episode. We're going to have to get into brass. Um, so that'll probably be the next thing. And we'll, we'll clean up this whole area and make it look nicer uh, as well. You know, kind of as we expand and make this, uh, make this thing into a proper building. But like I said, we're going to have to do a few things i want to build out like the crusher and all that stuff before i turn this into a big fancy building but for now i think it's wrapping up point uh so for now devil 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode we'll come back next time play with the mechanical crafter which we're going to need um to get going we're going to need brass so you know take it easy